Hey, hey. So, on Tuesday night, Agneta was out and about. She was attending the Swedish premiere of the new biopic Elvis, starring Austin Butler and Tom Hanks. The premiere took place at the Rigoletto Cinema in Stockholm, and Agneta was photographed with Ingmarie Hanning and Max Lagerbeck. Ingmarie was on tour with ABBA and responsible for their costumes and makeup, and is now the curator of ABBA Museum. Max Lagerbeck is press chef of TV3 in Sweden, and we did see him together with Agneta in the past, for example in 2007. There also was a get-together with many more friends at the Glashuset restaurant on Strandwegen, and there we also see Agneta with the Swedish actress Brit Eklund, famous for her role in the James Bond film The Man with the Golden Gun. In fact, she and Agneta already met way back in the day in Los Angeles. It's wonderful to see Agneta in public again, especially to see how she's showing herself at the premiere. I mean, she could have easily gone through some back door, but she was there to give us some lovely photos. I think she really seems to enjoy these events again. And we know that she's a fan of Elvis. She expressed her love for him in the past. In 2013, she said that Elvis Presley still does it for her and that she wished she'd had the chance to sing a duet with him. Of course, we never got a duet, but there are some connections between Abba and Elvis, so let's briefly explore them. It's always nice to see things in context. We know that Abba's sound engineer Michael Vitretto is a big fan of Elvis and that he and Björn and Benny discovered rock through Elvis Presley. Benny's second single was actually Jailhouse Rock, which, as he said, changed his entire conception of what music was supposed to be like. And what are the chances the manager of Benny's first band, The Hapstars, Orca Gerhardt, was also responsible for Elvis Presley's catalogue in Sweden? When it comes to Frida, we know that in her childhood years she used to go to the cinema in her hometown and watched Jailhouse Rock on the big screen, which inspired her to go for a musical career. In 1971, Elvis had a top 10 hit on the country charts with the song There Goes My Everything, and Frida, in the very same year, happened to record her version of the song with Swedish lyrics, which was one of those singles that featured all four future members of ABBA. And in 1978, ABBA performed the Elvis classic Jailhouse Rock on the American TV show Olivia as part of the jam session, which was just a few months after Elvis had passed away. So we never got that duet Agneta wished she would have done. But last but not least, there is one more connection. In 2004, she recorded the song What Now My Love for her album My Coloring Book and that song was also recorded by Elvis in 1973. These are some little connections I can think about. Maybe some of you can think about anything else I might have forgotten. And other than that, let me know how you feel about seeing Agneta again out in public just a few weeks after the Voyage premiere. I wanted to watch this film before, but now I'm really curious to see Elvis, to see the film that Agneta had just seen this week. All right. Until then, hello!